going to go through our thoracic mobilization sequence and I love this for really helping to free up around in the ribs and allow you to breathe a little bit more easily. It's also amazing how much it affects your flexibility into a forward bend and your hamstrings coming up the front. So Jess is just going to reach forward with one arm, take the feet into a wide second position. Yeah. So we're going to reach forward with one arm. We want to feel energy coming forward but also energy coming back. Now, while this looks like an upper body exercise, we actually need to think about what's happening downstairs as well. The hips will rotate slightly, knees are slightly bent, and as she reaches forward with the right foot, our uh, right hand, sorry, the left foot will supinate, kind of arch up, and the right foot will pronate. As she reaches forward with the other arm, the hips will twist, the knees will rotate, this foot will soften in, and this one will lift up. A lot of people are very rigid through their feet, so this may take some practice. But this really helps get a whole body mobilization with these exercises. So just gently reaching forward, alternate arms. Beautiful. And there's energy out through the back and energy through the front. A couple more. Really trying to create some expansion through the ribcage. Yeah. Two more. And normally you can do between four and eight of these in each position. Depends what music you're doing it to. Beautiful. Then we're going to reach the right arm up to the ceiling. So as she reaches the right arm up a little bit over, soften the right knee and let the pelvis tilt. So you want to create the longest line between your armpit and your hip and the opposite side. Really lengthening out between these ribs. Beautiful. And release. And again. And if you felt a different side to side in your rib cage when you were breathing, you'll often feel this with this exercise. One. Beautiful. Then one of my favorites I call the octopus. We're going to shift the ribs off to the right and reach the arm. Now reach as far as you can. Beautiful. And then the other side, really ripple the rib cage and reach to the side. Beautiful. And the other side. Really nice to feel this compression on one side and opening on the other. And the other. Beautiful. Now if you feel any pulling or numbness into your hands and the nerves are a little bit tight, just relax the wrist, but you can still do the rib cage movements. Now we're going to reach around to the back. So with the right arm reaching around to the back, the left elbow reaches forward, still have the knees soft, feel that movement all the way to the floor, and then the other side, and look back at your back hand. Beautiful. Two, and three, and four, beautiful. Then 45 degrees up to the front. I like to call this one Spartacus. <laughs> really lengthen through the front, that's it. And then the other side. Feel this equal energy down and back and up and forward, good. And three, good. And four, just a little less ballet arm, a little bit more extension, yes, nice. And then to the opposite back corner. So like you're reaching around with your right hand to pick something up off a shelf. And then the other side. This really helps open out that chest area, especially if you tend to take your breathing a little bit too high. Beautiful. And last one. Good. And then you can do a couple of different variations. So reaching forward with the right, you can actually flex a little bit as well. Really round out through the rib cage, good. And then the other side, and scooping it through, really curl. This will help open out the ribs at the back. And three, good, and four. Beautiful. And then do the same with a little extension. Beautiful. Yep. relax your arms down and you can reassess your 60 breathing even in standing so place one hand on the front one hand on the back yep. and then just close your eyes and make sure you can get that nice expansion front and back beautiful good try side to side 
and you'll often feel much more free freedom in the rib cage after doing those exercises and up the top and down beautiful so it's a really nice exercise to do to free up your rib cage also as part of your warm-up before you're actually going into any dancing but really good to do before we start moving on to the more extension parts of the program